series. Uh, today we're going to talk very briefly about the T-span element uh, and how we can use it in AIMS. So, what is the T-span element? Well, quite simply, it's the element defined by Inkscape to contain text objects in an Inkscape document. So, let's have some example text. So, imagine we have an Inkscape page and we get the text tool and we type here is some example text and we'll have it as Arial and 14 points. We save the document and we open it up in Notepad. What does that text look like? Well it looks like this and there's a lot to unpack here there's a lot of uh, scary looking stuff but the main part is right at the bottom if you can see my mouse pointer here is our t-span starts there ends there and that defines a line of text with an id an exposition x position a y position and the text itself okay so far so good and there we go that's highlighted it for you that's the important stuff so let's take an example another example of text again Arial size 14 but here we're going to write it and we're going to put a carriage return in there so okay here is some t example text carriage return over two lines what does that look like what well, looks like this it's quite readable really two t-span objects one after the other one per line this makes sense if you take a look as well if you look at the x position it stays the same consistently the y position changes because we're hitting a carriage return Okay. Here's another example. Here is an example where we've got um, we've emboldened the word example and we put it over two lines. So let's have a look at the the code for that. Oh, there's a bit more going on. So if you can see uh, in pink or light orange, uh, we have the first line of our text. And then we have nested in there a second T-span element set to bold with example on there. And then we have again another line. As before, the uh, X positions are the same, the Y positions have changed. This is very important for us. Okay, so what have we learned here? We've learned that text elements are split into T-span objects that t-span objects can effectively be a folder to store other t-span objects so effectively you can nest them carriage returns will increase the dy attribute of the text span and text uh, t-span objects are used to split text styling so if we have a font and we switch to bold then anything we subsequently write will be in a new, a new t-span object if we change font then that should become a new T-span object as well. This is very useful information to know. And uh, that being the case, let's have a look at where we're at with AIMS version 1. So I have a, a Krita file here. This is going to be our text. This is our text testbed file. And we've got some text elements. So let's take a look at them. Uh, basic text in a font. Uh, swapping fonts on different lines. Different words on the first line in bold. In bold italic. Uh, changing colors here. And finally, we're bolding, boldening the a word on the second line. So let's have a look at it in AIMS. Let's load the file up. Let's load the Krita file, our te test bed. It's loaded. There's our from now. Our objects are selectable from the drop down list, so let's pick them. It's difficult to read, but they are there. If you look at this full screen, you'll be able to see the fonts are there. Uh, they're in black, which is the f color that they're on. Uh, changing fonts properly. Um, and changing color. Uh, next up, 
is justification and then we're ready for text retrieval okay um this is a short video thanks for watching we'll be back next week with more updates all right thanks for watching bye now thanks for watching hit the subscribe button make sure you're still subscribed and lock the bell for notifications okay bye bye now